YouTube, I'm back, baby. What's happening? I just want to go ahead and thank everybody who held it down, stayed solid, made sure the whole block was copacetic. But now we back, and I got it from here. You feel what I'm saying? It don't get no better than me returning, kicking off my season two of rap school. Let's rock out. Let's dive into what symbolism is, right? Okay? So, in the Max Ghetto Dictionary form, or even in the dictionary form, symbolism is basically the use of symbols to express one's ideas or qualities, right? Symbolism has always been used in some way, shape, or form. The Civil Rights Movement, per se. Symbolism was utilized by the powerful speakers, the Malcolm X's of the world, the Marcus Garvey's of the world, the W.E.B. Du Bois. These weren't uh, writers. These weren't poets, these were speakers. And they used symbolism in the form of uh, getting that message out to the people, those hidden messages that the other people weren't supposed to be catching on to. So symbolism was more so used as a playbook, okay? A form of communication to make sure that the outsiders don't get in. That's what people use in football to use, you know, signs and things of that sort to make sure that the adversary is not aware of what we about to call. Symbolism is beautiful as well. Uh, let's dive into the, uh, the the symbolism that is used in our modern day world, okay? Um, in which, you know, we all got a strong passion for music, right? We're going to go ahead and dive into some of the modern day dramas. Not too far into the Hollywood dramas because I ain't no messy individual like that. But I feel like I got to use some of these things in order to get my point across. So, our first modern form of symbolism, pretty controversial. Very, very misunderstood. By the masses okay especially the black woke community who we rubbed the wrong way by it but then again we didn't take the time to understand the message that was being delivered it's prophets always get crucified until the truth comes out all right so for this next form of symbolism all right let me just go ahead and give y'all a quick little rundown about this dude before i actually expose the source this is definitely one of my most favorite creative musicians out of the south and i mean all time okay always stayed solid, never tried to be a part of the machine, and, and, and always stayed on his own thing. Deeply rooted church house dude, you could tell grandma had a real strong presence in his life. But, let's dive into the symbol that he utilized. Big Crit! Somebody called him Big Grits one time. <laughs> that was funny, I'm sorry. But Big Crit, <laughs> Big Crit, right? He got this song, it's called Everlasting. All right. Gotta get their he's having a conversation with this girl in which he's trying to get to know her and things of that sort. He's walking up, spitting that game, spitting some of that jelly, you know what I'm saying? Sprinkling that, some of that sprinkle of Jesus up in her ear. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm fried. But uh, in the song, he's spitting that game to her, you know what I'm saying? And um, he getting her too. He's spitting some of that real spill. Let me go ahead and put a nice little side note on there. He ain't doing no type of dirty macking, and that's why I can respect the vision. So let me explain something to you, nephew. Dirty macking. It's basically throwing dirt on the next man's name so you can get that Hello Kitty. All right? Don't do that. Back to regularly scheduled program. Okay? So when this song ever lasted, Big Crit is basically spitting that game to this girl. So in the song, he says something along the lines of, uh, I know your homegirl told you don't with us country boys, cause we play, but we all not. Towards the end of the song, he said something along the lines of, uh, you can take my number down and hit me when you gone, and I can promise you I ain't like Tyrone. Everlasting, right? The girl represents the naked ear. She's a non-club goer as well. Big Crit represents the product. He's a non-club goer, okay? Both of them represent the sub-genre, okay? also says that he's not playing or he's not nothing like Tyrone. Now when it comes to this Tyrone situation, I thought you didn't dirty Mac. You ended up dirty Macking. Yeah, you ended up dirty Macking. You wasn't supposed to bring Tyrone name up. I can't respect the vision, but at the same time you got your point across. And you did low-key put that game on her. You did put that game on her. If you go listen to the song, he, 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 he did his thing, okay? But that's the symbolism behind Everlasting. Beautiful song, beautiful art. Just dirty Mac at the end. I can't respect it. Um, it's an old school joint. It's for the, you know, Mr. Mr. Jefferson down the street, down there mowing and watering that grass, slow dancing. 
know what I'm saying? But he enjoying himself. I really miss you, Brandon. Tell me when you coming back home. And everybody thought it was about a woman, right? This continues to be a mystery. Now the internet says this song was about a dog that ran away. It was supposed to be like the surprising misunderstanding. But I remember talking to this old dude. He said, everybody said it was about a girl, but it was actually about alcohol. Think about it, brandy wine. And I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. This is going to continue to be a mystery because I can't just up and say it, it was about a dog that just ran away. Yeah, what if he was talking about brandy wine? It could have been about alcohol. It could have been about his long lost dog. It could have been about a woman. You really do not know. And it's going to continue to be a mystery until somebody figure it out. I don't think nobody going to figure it out though. But fire form of symbolism because it continues to be a mystery that nobody knows about. I feel like I can hit the streets with one of those modern forms of symbolism that, you know, everybody can relate to. Moneybag and Waukesha. I, I think he made a hit song with it, but when it originally hit the streets, all the girls thought it was about... <laughs> all the girls thought it was about a woman. And they thought it was an actual love song when he was, he was talking about, you know, that why. That was a funny form of symbolism right there. Because <laughs> he got him. He got him. <laughs> he got him. You gotta respect the vision. I seen the vision, I respect it. And, and, and on top of that, you got other people calling Wak Wakisha now in their songs. So he set the trends. Uh, he tricked the girls. Sorry, ladies, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take that ill. Uh, you get your lick back. But um, right now, you gotta hold that ill. Wakisha was not about a girl. <laughs> with the four examples that I provided, right? I got Kanye West with the White Lives Matter shirt, wasn't no song, but uh, I got Big Crit with the Everlasting joint, I got the OJs with the Brandy, I got the bag with the Waikisha, alright? <laughs> bag with the Waikisha. <laughs> alright, I'm about to provide my own example of uh, symbolism. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all the lyrics first, and then I'm gonna explain to y'all what it actually is about. I thought we really put that time in, but you was just a sly friend. Can't look at you the same, forever beefing. That's on my end. Mama and them ashamed of me, but I'm ashamed of you. Expose my business to the light. That ain't what gangsters do. Ain't got no morals or sympathy because you ain't getting no permission. They mean to come around my family while I'm in them condition. You think you really better than me, but your feelings is missing. So watch me get myself together once I kick this addiction. So in this situation, it seems as if I'm arguing with a, a family member or a friend or somebody like that. Expose my business to other family members. You see me lacking accountability, right? Another thing I'm doing, I have a form of optimism. It's like, if I'm gonna kick this addiction, I'm basically somebody who's struggling with drugs. To be a little more specific, things done got out of hand. Somebody ended up getting high, going around their family member, but they holding the drug more accountable than they holding themselves. All right? That's a quick little form of symbolism. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And uh, we'll be back with another episode tomorrow. Next time. This is this a tricky one right here. And I love this line, all right? Um, one thing about me, bro, bars over names, lines, lyricism, rapability, all of that stuff. I put all of that over names. I don't care who said it. If the line is fire, then it's fire. I really don't listen to this dude music like that. But 